I am nothing if not a big kid. So I'm going to play this thing out for y'all because I just can't not do it. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's epic. I'm guessing these are some little drums. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not musically inclined. Then we got a little xylophone here. I think that's a xylophone, right? Ain't that what we call it? Drop in the comments. Is it a xylophone? Let's see. Here's the entrance to the water's edge. It is gated off from the rest of the resort, mainly because they don't want you parking over. All right, y'all, we are at the Water's Edge Clubhouse called a Concierge. Oh, yes, we are excited. So, as I talked about, we are staying at the Water's Edge, a very nice portion uh, of the resort here. The whole thing is nice, though. So, um, no knock to any of this beautiful display. So, what you can see here, when you come in, they do have a bar over here. It's currently closed, but I'm sure they can get litty. We've got a fireplace and TV here. We can see we got like a couple little areas for people to sit and relax with each other. Um, and then as we go over to this other side, you don't like what those people are watching on that side? Or their fire is not on and you want the fire? Come over to this side. We can see that we have a beautiful view of the golf course right outside of the window here. And then you can see they do have a coffee bar, a self-serve. So that's a really nice touch as well. As we make our way down, we can actually take a sneak peek out the door and see there's a pool. I'll show you more of that in just a second. Um, we have a little game room here where you can sit and play games. You do have TV as well. Uh, and there's your self-serve coffee. And you even got a little Scrabble game down there if you wanted to do that. So uh, I don't know about y'all, but I love a good game of Scrabble. So as we make our way on town, I wanna show you one of these restrooms because these are truly luxurious, y'all. Motion activated on the lights. So we got a nice, spacious, clean shower here. Um, nothing behind the door. <laughs> and then we have the um, vanity area over there in addition to the toilet area. And if this isn't like, I mean, just look at the, the walls and everything. All the tile on the walls is very beautiful. I mean, it's very luxurious here. And again, this is the Water's Edge Clubhouse. So this is just one of the clubhouses that's in here. There's several bathrooms throughout. And then again, we come up to that bar that we can see is not currently open. Um, but we also have the laundry area here. And we actually got a car to do free laundry. So I'm super excited about that. I'm not sure if that is uh, for everyone that comes because I do see that there are prices here. Um, but we do have a card to do free laundry. And then you have this little cute vending machine that will actually... Um, allow you to get, you know, uh, your fabric softener, large detergent, et cetera, if you didn't bring it with you. So as we make our way through, and I mean, there just happens to be nobody over here because there's not very many people at the water's edge right now, which is great. Like we really enjoyed our stay and the quaint and quietness of it all. So you come out here to the pool area and i mean if this is not a luxurious pool y'all i don't know what a luxurious pool is this is fantastic they have cabanas over here that you can rent out they have tvs in them uh as well and then you have the hot tub here also so really nice and they do have these like assistance chairs as well so that you can get into both the pool and the hot tub so you know got the umbrella situation going on and then a perfect view of the golf course right out there i mean you honestly can't beat this you cannot beat it with a stick so we have been really enjoying our stay here at uh hilton head national rv resort in the water's edge area it's been really really fantastic um we'll certainly come back what i will say is there's not a tremendous amount to do in hilton head proper if you're not a golfer 
but it is a great area to come and, and really just kind of take in beauty. Um, and then it's not too far from Savannah um, and a, a couple other areas like Tybee Island and stuff like that. So there are some things that you can do here, but ultimately it's a, it, it's not a, it's not necessarily a, a place that I would come to as like, hey, let's do stuff. It's more so a place to come to for me to like enjoy the resort, enjoy the surroundings. This is a very beautiful town. Bluffton is. It's a very beautiful town. Like everything is is very pretty looking. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. We can see this is a portion of the walking trail. There is a walking trail that goes around the resort that's about two miles uh, around all told something like that what they told me in the um, in the thing there's also this water here right they told us there's eight gators that are living on the property I have no idea if anybody knows please comment below how do you know how many gators there are on the property how do you count them unless you bring them so I want to show you one of these sites uh, really quick just so that you can get a, a vibe for it this is site 230. And someone actually just left from this site here earlier today. But this site is really nice because it's mostly private. Uh, you're not facing anyone uh, on your campsite. And then you're right next to this piece, uh, the little concierge area, AKA clubhouse. But all the sites are kind of laid out the same on this section. You've got a fire pit here that's off to the side. You have these tables, uh, which they're a little high up, but as a person with short legs, I don't have any problems getting into those tables. And then you've got all of your hookups are actually in one little pedestal here. So you've got your 50 and 30 amp in addition to a 110 underneath there. And then you've also got the water hookup right there and your sewer right next to it. So what's really cool is if you can get it to a good angle, your sewer actually comes straight out of your rig and down into this concrete into the sewer. So that's super helpful from my perspective um, in terms of like emptying out your sewer and like dealing with that whole situation. So with that said, that's kind of like covering it for water's edge. Um, I will show you the pull through site because we have one. So I'll walk you through our site really quick just so you can get a vibe. And then uh, I'll show you some other things here. Okay, so we are in site 263 here at Hilton Head uh, in the Water's Edge area. And one thing I'll tell you is, baby, these sites are large and in charge. So we've got a 36 foot fifth wheel. Our truck is actually parked behind our rig and you can see just how much space we have in front. So we have enough space to park our truck right there, uh, but it was way more space in the back of the rig. And I'll show you more about that here in a second. So just as I showed you on the other side, we actually have these uh, chairs here and table. So that's really cool. We also have a fire pit which is really nice as well. And then here you can see, we've got a decent amount of space between our truck and the rig and look how much space we actually go back here. So this is huge, okay? Time. So we've got our um, surge protector on there. And then you can see, we were able to get our sewer angled pretty well in terms of getting that to come right out onto the concrete. The gentleman that helped us uh, find the site actually uh, helped us kind of align perfectly. So we're really, um, so yeah, we're super really, you know, super excited about that. Um, and ultimately we do back up to someone else's site and we do have a neighbor, uh, but I think that everything is pretty well staggered and it's, you don't feel like you're on top of each other like you do in some other places. And you can see, again, we're in 263. We got a nice beeline over to the clubhouse area. So, and then you can see uh, part of our neighbor's rig right there and how much space they have behind theirs. So there's our site. And you can see how much space is behind us. 
in addition to the amount of space that's in front of us. These are huge, huge sites. Check out this Class A here. They've got plenty of space for their rig and their tow vehicle. Um, so, you know, if you were happen to overnight, I don't know if I would suggest this as an overnight location because it's kind of pricey for that. Uh, but if you were overnighting, you'd have plenty of space to uh, leave everything hooked up and not worry about getting disconnected. So I know that was redundant, but maybe I'll take that out. Maybe I won't, you know, sometimes it's good to add a little flair in there. Um, but yeah, so going to walk around and, and continue to show you all this beautiful place. It really is, um, it really is nice. You know, you can see some of these sites. Here's an empty one so you can see just how long this baby is i mean it can hold a lot um i see these class a's that have big huge trailers on the back um that are maybe carrying like a vehicle and some other stuff in them you probably fit those class a's down one of these sites um for the pull throughs and as you can see some of these are back ends some of them are pull throughs so you want to look at the map really closely uh, we're 263, as I mentioned, that's a pull through site and a uh, really nice one. You know, you can see the water from, from the site. All right, y'all. I guess y'all know what time it is. Time to see the dog park. So, um, the time we've been here, haven't had a lot of time to bring my pup out to the dog park. I'm not sure if there's other dogs out here, but I love that places provide dog parks for dogs. I especially love when they're clean or have like anti-mud type surfaces. Uh, it's one thing to have a dog park on grass, which I'm grateful for, but it's a whole other thing to have a dog park on turf or something like that that's not gonna get muddy because yesterday it rained pretty decently. And one of the things that we, you know, that happens whenever you have a dog is you're going to experience some rain and that rain is going to make things a bit muddy so these folks are they really are wonderful and very extra and i'm here for all of the extraness so going into the dog park you have a little house and i don't know what's in this house but if, if the doors are open we're gonna figure it out yes we are okay so to get into the dog park area you're actually walking down this bit you got some soda machines here um so that's cool they do not accept cards which i find very interesting so this feels like a very high tech type place so yeah nice laundry room right by the pet area super duper nice one thing I did not show you all, which would be great if I can see it in here, is that they do have a pet friendly washing machine as well, which we have a washer. Here we go. There's our pet friendly washer. Okay. Wash your pet stuff in there, in the pet friendly washer, not in this washer with the other stuff. And the reason for that is you know, some places don't have it, and you, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Look what we found, y'all. We found the 24-hour ice machine. It accepts cards, so that's pretty cool. So I'm guessing you just swipe your card. Um, Seven-pound bag for three bucks. I have no idea what the going rate for ice is. We make our, our own ice in the RV and pretty much always have. But I feel like that doesn't sound terrible. All right, so now we've made it to the actual dog park. All right, so cool. Let's, I always struggle with these things. Oh my gosh. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, no, that's easy. That is easy. Okay, y'all, this is lovely. If you didn't bring a ball, they have balls here for you to use with your dog. That's so great because sometimes you might just be walking your dog and you'll see, oh, it's a dog park. So we've got more restrooms there, which is great. Restroom, restroom, restroom. Fantastic. We've got electrical facilities, okay. We've got another restroom. Okay, so essentially, these are all restrooms. So I'm gonna show you what some of the restrooms look like, non-Water's Edge, so that you can get a vibe for that. So it's still very beautiful, oh my gosh. 
very luxurious um still very nice i mean i don't think that they really degraded the quality of the restroom like i don't think they spared any expenses to say oh this is not water's edge so we're not going to do it so what that does lead me to wonder is where the hell is the dog wash okay so we got the dog park which we've already seen that usually they try to put the dog wash right outside of the dog park because little furry friends might get a little muddy and dirty and we need to clean them up here so let's get our key oh this is pretty stellar i mean this is nice so you've got one for the little dogs like my guy you can go in here and then you've got some deeper ones for the bigger dogs. So that's pretty cool. Got some uh, paper towels there. Not sure what this little knickknack is, uh, but it looks like they also have a little thing so you can let your dog get into the situation. So overall, this is pretty nice. But check this out, y'all. Only four people can be in here. So let me go ahead and get my butt out. And I've showed you the dog stuff, and I'm going to show you some more stuff because that ain't it. That is not it. All right. So, one of the things I want to show you here is the basketball court. And um, this is pretty nice. I'm not sure. I would imagine if you go inside, you can rent basketballs in there. Um, but it's a pretty nice court. I mean, pretty spacious. They've got a um, pickleball net. They can roll out here as well so that's pretty cool we do have um <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in this place i tell you there is a lot so we do have these nets over here which looks like they're actually locked up it's fine i don't want to play it <laughs> um so we've got that and then we have the pool area and I mean, I just can't, I know y'all are sick of me saying it, but this place, okay, the pool is actually locked. I think I can get to it from the inside though. Um, this place is so much like a five-star all-inclusive. In fact, it may be better just because so much of this, like, is so much extra stuff that you can do here that I feel like you can't really do. Like, so when people think that RVing is not about living classy we are very classy based okay so anyway let me go ahead and get in here i'll show y'all around on the inside let you see kind of like what's in there and everything and i've been working up an appetite and i believe that this restaurant over here is going to be open today i came yesterday and it was not open and when i tell you i was sorely disappointed Y'all, I was sorely disappointed because I had worked up an appetite and by the time I got home, I was angry or hangry. And uh, that was very difficult for me. So anyway, we can see here, we're coming up on the clubhouse. And I mean, just, just look at how beautiful this is. Like this looks like someone's home, really and truly. Like somebody with a whole lot of money's home, but it looks like somebody's home all the same. So, anyway, I, I, I could go on and on. Look, they got a little front porch you can sit out here in a rocking chair. Listen, if I won't get my old woman on, please, okay? So, we've got the um, hours here. So, again, restaurants open 11 to 7. So, let's see. So, as we come in, we can see... We've got a menu actually up for the drinks. That's nice. A couple little sitting areas here. Very, very nice. You can sit over here by the fire. So really super cool. They've already got it decked out for Christmas. Uh, from a timing standpoint, we are here from December 4th to December 7th. They've got a little bit of a store over here, which is really nice. So you can get not only your essentials, but some of your wants as well. 
So really super nice. Got some souvenirs and things like that. Okay. So they've got a for real, for real game room in here. There's nobody in here because again, there's just not a lot of people at the resort right now. But they do have this. I wonder if I touch it. Nope. Uh, so this thing is not working, but you can actually get your um, gamer cards from here. They've got a air hockey table, which they've got all these little tap things here so that you can tap and play. Then they have the ski ball here. They're calling it ice ball. Never heard of that before. They've got, of course, a little bit of basketball action here. Uh, root for the Charlotte Hornets, I suppose. I guess that's the closest team they can root for here. They got these things that I hate with a passion. Hate, hate, hate. I hate these things. They're such a ripoff. Um, if you like playing them, no offense, but they're a big ripoff. They got this thing here, uh, which seems pretty cool. It's like old school uh, Space Invaders game. They've got a Terminator game, which I love. I love shooter like i love arcade shooter games they're so fun to me i might not necessarily win them but they're fun we've got a little racing game here um it's not like regular cars so that's a little strange to me but whatever then we got more of these grab things i hate them i hate 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 them sorry i mean but i do i don't know why max of 46 people in here y'all so let's not overdo it with the whole firm All right, now we can get out here to the pool and see what's up. So we've got the restaurant is open, y'all. I'm so excited. All right. So we've got some outside seating for the restaurant here. And then we can see the pool Really nice walk-in type situation. It looks like we go down to five and a half feet, <laughs> which I mean, if I were in this thing, I couldn't go all the way down there because I'm way too short, okay? Way, way, way too short. But very nice. I mean, again, y'all, I know y'all are sick of me saying it, but five-star all-inclusive. Five-star all-inclusive. Um. So they've got a little bridge up here. I'm not sure what the purpose of the bridge is other than like being a nice aesthetic touch, but we'll walk up there, let y'all see what it looks like because that's what we do. That's what staying in the RV is all about, getting out of the RV and seeing things. <laughs> so the cool thing about this is I can show y'all the lazy river. So they've got a lazy river. From what I understand, it's heated. Um, and it runs all the way around into the pool area. All right. So very nice vibe overall. You can see they got more of those cabanas out there. Very, very nice. And then for those of you who do have children and are like, what activities are here for the kids? What's here for the babies? We got this thing over here. Oh, I haven't been in a playground in a long time, but this is a really nice one. Um, no idea what that is, but uh, looks like it'd be fun for kids to move stuff around. We got some swings here. So even for some of your adults, depending on <laughs> your weight, you can probably get on this swing. Let's see if they happen to call out a weight. Um, they don't. But they actually do say not for adult use. So that's surprising. I mean, these are, it seems like you could get on a swing as an adult, but what if? Um, you got your standard playground jungle gym type thing here. And I think because there's not a, um, there's not really like good seasonal rates here. There's not kids here playing on this right now. Because other places I've been, the kids have been about playing on some of this stuff. Like, it's really, really nice. Got a big like um, canopy there. You got this, which I guess, is this supposed to be, um, what's that thing we had as a kid? I can't even remember, but does it spin? 
Yes. See, these kids are safe. Y'all, remember how we would be on that thing and it would be metal and we would almost die? These kids can literally get on here and it's plastic and they're so safe. Oh my gosh. All right. I am nothing if not a big kid. So I'm going to play this thing out for y'all because I just can't not do it. Okay. Oh yeah, that's epic. I'm guessing these are some little drums. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not musically inclined. Then we got a little xylophone here. I think that's a xylophone, right? Ain't that what we call it? Drop in the comments. Is it a xylophone? Let's see. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. Um, but really nice. In terms of a place for kids to just come and relax and unlike the dog park they actually have turf down here so um you don't have to worry about the kids getting dirty and muddy and all that and then you have a nice place for you to sit while you watch the babies do their thing so a couple playground rules if they're under 12 you must uh watch them which this playground is mainly made for people under 12 so aka watch everybody but it's just, it's really nice, y'all. This whole section, this whole RV park. Like, I literally, other than the price, I can't think of a single bad thing to say about this place. And I want to go get my swimsuit on and go get in this lazy river before we go because we're leaving tomorrow. I'll show you fitness center I do have to use my key for. So again, you see most of these places, there's nobody in it. And man, I tell you, I love that. So they've got a lot of equipment here. Anything from strength training to cardio. Um, it's all just very nice. And it smells very clean in here. Like super clean. And they've got several TVs. So they've got those two there in addition to this one here. It's just very, very nice they've got the wipes here so you can clean off your equipment please clean off your equipment after you're done folks like that's just nasty no one wants to touch your sweaty nasty stuff so just clean it off um some of these have their own tvs like this one has its own tv and for the ones that don't you got a tv up there and the tv is actually controlled by this little thing here so you can choose what channels you want it to be on and what have you. So, very nice. Very, very, very well done. So the great thing about this restaurant is they have both indoor and outdoor seating. So if you wanna sit poolside, you absolutely can. Uh, you can see that like they only want you sitting here if you are visiting the restaurant. So, with that said, let's get our butts on over here. Let's get our butts on over here. In case you're wondering, the pool closes at 515. They don't want y'all swimming in the dark. They really don't. Okay. So, heading in. It's really nice. A vibe overall. Got a TV up there. Very good TV up there as well. Um, and then you can see, we got screened in area open out to the pool. So, really, really nice. All right, y'all. So, I'm gonna wrap things up and take you over here to the Tiki Bar. Now, what I will say is the Tiki Bar isn't open, but this gives me a good opportunity to chat with y'all a little bit. So, if you've seen any of my other videos, one thing you might be wondering is, why does she walk to all these places? Well, one of the things I enjoy most about coming to these resorts is walking around them and really just kind of seeing what things are about. Oh, let me let you sneak peek in one of these cabanas real quick. So, inside the cabana, you can see you've got a ceiling fan up there and your own little TV as well. So, really chill vibes. I think that they're fairly expensive to rent though, so bear that in mind. But, that said, I love walking around these resorts. I love kind of taking in the scenery in a slower manner. Me and my husband, we never rent golf carts or anything like that when we go to places because we just like to really just take things in. 
So the same thing is true when I'm making these videos. I like to take in what I'm seeing and I might see something different that I hadn't already seen. So I like to be open-minded to that. And I like to, you know, just, just take in that full experience. And if you're moving swiftly, in my opinion, you can't all the way take that fully in. So that's one of the reasons that you see me walking around these places as opposed to being on a golf cart or something like that. Now, that doesn't mean I won't ever do it because I have, but here's a tiki bar. <laughs> as I mentioned, it is closed right now, uh, but it's really a, a, a nice vibe. So you can see they're seating all the way around and I can only imagine that when this thing is hopping, it's hopping. Um, but yeah, so, I think that's gonna actually wrap things up for this particular video. As always, I appreciate y'all hopping in and rocking with me on this. Uh-oh, I think I opened up that little gate too far. Let's scoot you back a little bit. <laughs> I appreciate y'all rocking with me on this video. I appreciate you all uh, paying attention and being interested in Hilton Head. And if you do like this resort, please take a look at it. You know, we don't get compensated in any way for these resorts uh reviews so all that i ask is that the people that watch it if you're thinking about coming to hilton head think about hilton head national rv resort 